The all-new Equalance mid-tower chassis from Enermax sports a tempered glass side panel, full-length PSU shroud, and robust water cooling options with support for up to 360 millimeter radiators. The backlit front panel I.O. is nothing short of awesome, and users can enjoy a cool and quiet environment with a three-step fan controller and sound dampening material. To learn more about the Enermax Equalance, click the link in the description below. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all doing well. This is part three of the Enthu Elite build. And if all goes smoothly, we may very well get a first boot. So I'm super excited. There's a couple things on the agenda, actually a lot of things that we have left to do. First of which is uh, mounting the water block to our second GPU. We finally got in that second GTX 1080 Ti Strix OC model from Asus. Thank God it's here. We can finally slap on the Glacier Series water block from Fantex and pop that into the system so that we can continue our tube bending. Last time in part two, we actually finished up the CPU loop. It's looking great so far, but we still got to do the GPU loop. So we'll be doing all the runs for that, followed by installing the second two terabyte 960 Pro from Samsung. This is an M.2 NVMe drive. So now we have two of them that we're gonna be RAID zeroing together for a whopping four terabytes. And the, the amount of throughput on this is gonna be absolutely insane. We'll be mounting it to the DIM.2 slot uh, as part of the Rampage 6 Extreme in there. And uh, very excited to actually have this as a storage solution for this ridiculously overkill build. Now, as you guys are probably aware by now, we are using a bunch of LL series RGB fans from Corsair inside of the system. So we're gonna need a way to wire those up to these Commander Pros. I'll we'll have to be installing these at some point later today, um, just so we can take full advantage of all the customizing options with these insane fans. Now in part two, I had not yet decided which fluid I'd be using for this system. All I knew was that it would have to be something special. So I eventually decided on the Primo Chill View. This is after a lot of your guys' suggestions and, and my own uh, sort of interest. I had seen guys like Jay's Two Cents been using it and speaking very highly of it. Um, and it just looks awesome. I mean, when you shake it and stuff, whenever it's in motion, it has this sort of marbled shampoo-like look to it. And it just has an amazing appearance that I think is really gonna shine in this system. I got the silver color. I was really pushing for white. I think that would have reflected the lighting in here a lot better, but uh, Primo Chill didn't have any white on hand. I think they were being held up for some reason on that end. So, Silver is what we got. I'm hoping it turns out good. If not, we can always change it out later down the line, but I'm very excited to be using it in this system today nonetheless. And then finally, last but not least, we have some premium sleeved cables from the folks over at Ensourced. Actually, Joey from Ensourced did a fantastic job. I gave him a little bit of guidance, just sort of a few hints of what I wanted. I uh, didn't really know exactly what he would turn out with, but I'm really digging the color scheme and sort of pattern that he, that he ended up choosing because it just looks fantastic and it's gonna look even better once it's all installed. So that's pretty much what's on the agenda for today, ladies and gentlemen. Overall, I am super excited to finally see this thing through, and hopefully by the end of this video, we'll get a first boot. Um, I can't wait any longer, so without further ado, let's dive right in and finish this build off.
forgetting something, Kyle? Well guys, we actually did it. We built, or I guess I built, the most high-end system that I, I think you could possibly build here in 2017, with the exception of maybe cranking up the, the GPUs to some $3,000 Titan Vs or something like that. But holy crap, I am pretty surprised with myself that uh, I was able to pull this off. This looks like it could be on the show floor at CES or Computex or something like that. So I'm, I'm super humbled that I was able to pull this off. I guess it just goes to show that if you put your mind to something and you're willing to put in the time and effort, you can achieve anything. But we are far from finished people we still have to test this beast and uh, see how she games and renders and everything else that you can possibly throw at it we'll also be doing some overclocking on both the cpu and gpus and uh, taking a look at thermals of course acoustics it's really loud right now because obviously i haven't configured the fans or anything like that but um still much more to come guys so thank you for making for helping make this possible be sure to subscribe to the channel for more tech stuff coming at you really soon go ahead and toss a like on this video if you enjoyed it it helps me a lot and finally if you guys want to watch my videos a week or without ads you can check me out on on float playing it's three bucks a month to sign up i highly encourage all of you to at least check it out the video playback on the website is super sexy speaking of sexy did you honestly think i would end this video without a super sexy montage of this beautiful beast that lies before you if you did you don't know me at all and i am ashamed i'm ashamed of you actually i, I forgive you now I'm a very quick forgiver. Lucky for you. So guys, uh, from the bottom of my heart, one final thank you for all of your support and encouragement throughout the entire procedure and process of putting this thing together. You guys deserve it. Here is your glorious fat pack of hardware porn. Yeah, I get that's pretty accurate. Okay. <laughs>